we're getting ready to take out the speedometer or the dash or some people might call it the instrument cluster so we can install a mirror link stream behind it well just the component to be able to mirror link this LCD screen with my phone we're gonna be taking off these pieces these pieces and this piece so we can get to the screws behind here oh yeah this is a small one too so we can get to the screws behind here in order to pull the dash out i have my handy dandy kit right here and we're gonna get started okay before i get too far i want to show you what i did these are the two pry tubes i was using Basically, I came here first and got up under here and I unsnapped these two first and then I went to the top and I pried loose from the top. This came off. Then I came over here, used the same pry tube. I pried from the bottom. Then I pried from the top. This came off. And the middle piece right here, you got to be real careful with this. It's flimsy as you can see. So when I pried it loose in the corner right here, I pried it loose in the corner here and the fat end of the corner there. It was still attached. But as you can see, it's some little hooks right here that goes up in here. These three little holes. So be real careful when you're taking this out because it will break. After I did that, I went ahead and I snapped this piece out. And I snapped this piece out. I was getting to that next. Then, this was up like this. Took an eight millimeter socket, pulled this out. Took an eight millimeter socket, pulled those out. Remember, eight millimeter. And now, you can see we have one screw back here. We have two screws down here. Oh, where's the light? Where's the light? Okay, I'm gonna come back with some light. Okay, like I was saying, we have one screw here. We have two screws here. We have one screw there. And we have one screw back there. And those are the ones we're going to pull out. As you can see, you can move this so you can get to the screw a little bit better. Be careful with this right here because you have all of your electronics right here. Be careful not to break them. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take everything apart. You don't really have to do anything with this. It's just the leather, the leather mount. Once you remove these two screws, this will be able to move and it's just a leather piece. So you don't, well, yeah. Once you remove the screws, this will be able to move, which will allow you to slide the console out easier. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, now that I got the first set of screws out, as you can see, you take this and you're gonna, you're gonna kind of turn it sideways a little bit to pull it out but it comes out now we have to take this bolt and this bolt and this piece should slide right out now the screws that came out from around the bezel is right here as you can see you have four long two short ones the four long ones go in the bezel the two short ones go here the two short ones are what hold what holds this so the two short ones go here and the long ones go all the way around just got to remember that okay so now that we have all the screws out as you can see it can't come all the way out yet because we have some wires in the back let's see can we see them and we can't i need some light okay i'm back it's not easy when you have one hand, but as you can see, 
it's not coming out because we have some wires attached still. But once you do, it will come all the way out. I'm getting ready to detach the wires so we can do it. Um, make sure your steering wheel is pulled all the way back. It makes it a whole lot easier as well. Okay, the dash is out. Let me show you what kind of connectors we have here. So as you can see, we have the sliding connector when you put it in. It slides up and it clips. This is how it's actually in the car right now. When it's connected, you just push down on the tab. I just broke my nail, so I can't even can't even get it. Okay, try it again. So when it's in the car, just like it was just now, when you push down on that, pull back, it pops out. This is pretty much just your standard standard tab right here. You pull down on this, and it pops out. So we have our dash out now. Now we're gonna go upstairs and we're going to install our unit. Remember, if your car is under warranty, you might not want to do this because once you break this seal, your warranty is up. Once you break the seal, your warranty's up. So, this is going to be pretty fun here pretty fun but we're going to replace this back and we're going to put a unit inside of here that's going to allow me to mirror my phone to the lcd screen up front stay tuned 